Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the famous concept of Marshall Learner Condition. What does it mean by Marshall Learner Condition or what are Marshall Learner Conditions? Let's have a discussion into this topic in today's session. So let's get started and discuss this. As the name suggests, the Marshall Learner Conditions are put forward by two famous economists and one is a British economist and he is Alfred Marshall. He is very, very famous and has made so many, so many contributions to the arena of economics. And the next person is called Abati Lerner. And this person is a Russian economist. You can see both of these people here. Uh, so the combination of ideas given by Marshall and Lerner. This is what uh, we consider in term with respect to Marshall Lerner conditions with respect to a particular topic. I told you that the combinations of ideas of these two people. It doesn't mean that all the ideas of these two people could be combined. With respect to a particular scenario, they have given some ideas and that could be combined. And that is what we could see as Marshall Lerner condition. And what are these and how these scenario exist? Let's see more about it. So, specifically to the idea of Marshall Learner Condition, it is something that deals with devaluation of a nation's currency. And what does it mean by devaluation? Devaluation means it is a deliberate attempt to deliberate attempt to lower the value of currency this is known as devaluation it is something different from depreciation as we know that depreciation happens automatically it happens as a result of market forces but devaluation is something that involves the deliberate attempt of a body mostly government to reduce the value of currency of a nation's currency and why does this happens basically this has been made to increase export and to reduce imports this is the main intention of the government when it goes for devaluation we wanted to promote we mostly want to promote our exports and we want to discourage our imports now what are the points which are told by Marshall and Lerner with respect to devaluation of a nation's currency? As per these two people, devaluation will lead to an improvement in balance of trade only if one condition is satisfied. And what is this famous one condition which need to be satisfied so as to have an improvement in balance of trade of a nation? when devaluation is there. Here we have to consider two things price elasticity of export and price elasticity of imports. Whenever we consider the price elasticity of export and price elasticity of import here the sum of these two things would be greater than 1 if the sum of these two things is greater than 1 then we can say that whenever there is devaluation, this will have a favorable impact on the balance of trade of a nation. And we know that balance of trade involves the exports and imports of goods. It deals with all visible trade. B or T means visible trade. So it deals with the export of goods import of good 
that's it we do not consider the invisible services here we do not consider any transfer receipts or payments here only visible trade only export of good and import of good is being considered and when we do this in a scenario of open economy there are chances for any nation to go for devaluation and the attempt of devaluation would attain success only if the price elasticity of its exports and imports would be greater than one what happens if it is not greater than one if it is not greater than one then devaluation would be unsuccessful or it will not create any improvement improvement only when you satisfy this condition that is what marshall and lana told so if the total export revenue falls and this can happen right this will happen due to inelastic demand for the nation's export so the export revenue can come down as a result of inelastic demand for export and also we could see that the total import expense can rise import expense can rise and what is the reason this could happen as a result of inelastic demand for imports inelastic demand for imports so in such a scenario what we could have is there would be a very bad situation for the nation because the trade deficit of the nation would be increasing and what does it mean by trade deficit whenever you compare the export export pay export receipts and import payment because whatever you export you will be getting a receipt from abroad and for what all you import you have to make payment so in such a scenario whenever you compare these two things our import payment would be more than the export receipts so here there existed deficit whatever we get would be less than what we pay what we pay would be more than what we get so there existed deficit and this situation caused a deterioration in nations trade so for the very same reason we can say that devaluation of currency may not always be the best strategy to go forward if we are looking for reduction of a trade deficit so if we can go for devaluation but devaluation would attain success only if we satisfy condition satisfy marshall learner condition only if we satisfy this it will be making an improvement in our trade or you can say balance of trade of bot that's all about today i hope you could understand the concept very well thank you for watching i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can join our free telegram community by clicking on to the link given in the description box also you can be a part of our learn economia by downloading the learn economia app for that also i'll be giving the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching